In this video, we are going to see the PP client installation process. First step is to login. So on the portal, on the right side, there is a login tab. Click on that. Now the registered technical user use their login credentials and log into the portal. Select the ULB name in which you have registered and then click on submit. To download TP client setup, go to download section and click on download TP client setup. Click on download button. Now TP client.rar file starts downloading. TP client setup gets downloaded successfully. Now you can extract the file. After extracting the TP client file, double click on the TP client setup file and then welcome wizard gets open. Click on next. Select the installation folder and then click on next. Click on browse option to install in a different folder. Then click on OK after selecting the folder. Wait until the installation gets complete. Now PP client gets successfully get installed. Now click on close button. After the installation process is over, now go to program files. Go to TP client folder. Go to soft folder. Go to TP client 2020 folder. Now search for tpc.exe file in the folder. Right click on the .exe file and run as administrator. Now the TP client software gets open. Now we will see the patch installation process. If you have already downloaded the software and when you open the software, if any update is available, then it will be shown through a pop-up box. Click on yes and if you click on no, you won't be able to log in. Now the TP client patch file starts updating. The patch file gets updated successfully and the login screen appears. Now we will see the installation of SQL. Go to Mahavasti portal. Under download section, there is a, a tab download MySQL and batch. Click on it. Click on download button. Setup file starts downloading. Now the RAR file is successfully downloaded. Extract the .rar file and then double click on the batch file. After clicking on the batch file, MySQL server installation process starts. Until the MySQL software gets installed and then you on the screen you will see the installation is done successfully. Thank you.